Suyu is a great option when it comes to Switch emulation, especially when it comes down to the minimum system requirements. And if you're unsure what your PC has, click your Windows icon, type specs, and click on system information, and this window will pop up and you can read more there. It's supported on Windows, Mac, Linux, and Android, so let's get started. Linked in the description will be this page for Suyu, and all we're gonna need to press is Get Suyu. This will take us to the GitHub page. I do suggest reading all of the information, the change log, especially if it's a newer version when you're watching this, as there's usually some important information in the updates, including uh, firmware 17 is fully supported. 18 may work, but is not guaranteed. So just take note of that stuff. But you can download this for Android, Linux, Windows, and Mac, which is really cool. I am personally on Windows, so that's what we're gonna be setting up in my video. So just click on the one that you wanna download. And once you have that, let's open up our downloads. We, you will need an extraction software like WinRAW or 7-Zip to extract this. And as for where we're placing it, I have an external hard drive, Smash Like here, and it has all of my emulators including Ryujinx, Dolphin, and Simu as of right now. Make sure to subscribe and keep an eye out because we are going to be loading this hard drive up with emulators and games. But I'm personally going to install it here. So let's open up that Suyu file, use WinRAR. And now this Suyu folder you can place this anywhere on your computer that you want, but I have an emulators folder with all of my other ones, so I'm gonna place it in there. So it's up to you, and don't worry, we can create a shortcut so we can start the Suyu emulator from anywhere we want as well. But we got that transferred on, I'm going to exit the zip file and delete it from the computer. And exit there, and now it's time to set up and run Suyu. Go inside of that folder, and you should see all of these files and folders, and down here is a suyu.exe file. Let's run it. It opened on a different screen, but you will get this error. Encryption keys are missing. So we do need to have the prod and title keys. I personally have a hacked switch and I backed mine up, but if you don't have that option, you'll just have to find them on your own, but I can't show you how to get them in this video. Press okay, but if you have those keys, go to file in the top left and open suyu folder. And here you'll see a bunch of folders. We're gonna open up keys and it will be empty, but we're gonna change that. So now go ahead and find your actual keys. I have them on my desktop right here. So I'm gonna open it up and then just drag those keys inside. You should have those in your keys folder. We can exit there and now we're gonna restart suyu. And I'm quickly going to make a shortcut. So I'm going to right click on the Suyu EXE file, click show more options and create a shortcut. So there it is at the bottom there. I'm going to cut it and go back to the root of my hard drive and paste. So now I can run Suyu from this page right here. You can place this shortcut anywhere you want, including the desktop, which is pretty nice. Suyu, there you go, looking real clean. So I'm gonna rerun it and we should not get that error message. And now we need to install the firmware. So in order to do this, we're gonna go into tools, install firmware, and now we can locate it on our computer. So mine is on my desktop. Again, I backed this up with my hacked switch. If my firmware is right here, I'm just gonna select the folder it should be a folder. I'll show you what it looks like real quick. It should have all of this stuff in here. Just the folder. I don't think zip files work, so you have to extract all of this into a folder and call it, well, you can call it whatever you want, but I suggest calling it the actual firmware. But that's what it's supposed to look like. So just click the folder and select, and it will begin installing the firmware. And we're good, now we can set up our games. I have my game set up on my hard drive in games, switch, and here's all of my games. I do own all of these in a physical copy. I've backed these up myself. Nintendo still profits from selling these games, so just keep that in mind. But I'm gonna exit there to show Suyu where those games are. Just double click and then locate where you have your games, as I said, in my Switch folder, and you just select the folder that they're in and they should pop up. There we go. And on the topic of games, if you have updates in DLC, you can go up to File install files to NAND, and then locate your updates. So I have them in this folder, but I'm gonna open it and then install. And now my Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is updating. And there we go, it is almost completed. Press okay, and there we go. I now have an updated version of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, which if you are interested in playing mods like CTGP Deluxe, you do need the latest version. But we can also do this for DLC. So file, install files to NAND, and select the DLC, install, and there we go, we now also have the DLC and it does tell you 
which is pretty convenient. So we have our games, now we need our controller set up. You can use practically any controller that connects to your PC, but I would highly suggest getting a controller like this one right here. It is a third party switch controller that is way cheaper and it works fantastic. So that's the one I'm gonna be setting up. You can also use an Xbox One controller as well. But in order to do this, you just need to make sure it's connected to your computer. So if you've never done that, open up your Bluetooth settings, click add device, and then click on that and hold the button on your controller until it's in pairing mode. There we go, pro controller, connect. And there we go, we're good, done, exit. And now we can go into emulation, configure, and on the left side, you should see controls. And here we can choose our controller. So under input device, you should see it there. Now you can use keyboard if you want. You'll just have to map all the buttons to what you would prefer. But select that and it should automatically map your controller for you. And if you notice in the middle there, the box, I am moving the controller. So the gyro does work, motion controls work and the toggles. And also in the bottom left, it'll tell you your console mode. So you can play your games in docked mode or handheld, but I would suggest leaving it on docked. It will give you better resolution, 1080p. But once you have your controller all good, press save on your profile. And then you can connect as many controllers as you want. But next up, we are gonna configure our graphics. So go to graphics in the left hotbar. And here, it all depends on your computer. Vulkan is the ideal option here. But if you do have screen lag, you can try OpenGL and see if that works better. But Vulkan is the better option here. Most of these can be left on default. And if you hover over it, it will give you a little bit of a snippet of what that means. If you do want to upscale your graphics under resolution here, mine is set to the native right now, but you can upscale it to up to seven times. But again, this really depends on your PC's specs, but mine can handle two times as it's done in Ryujinx. So I'm going to upscale it to that. But honestly, Switch games look great in 1080 still. You can also make it look even better with anti-aliasing if you change that to SMAA. Again, if you change these settings and then run into screen lag or screen tearing, just change them back and it should solve your problem. But there we go, we have our controller and our graphics set. We can press OK and now we are ready to play our games. And I'll even show you a trick, if you right click on the game, you can create a shortcut and add it to your desktop. It'll ask you if you want to launch the game in full screen, press yes or no, and shortcut created. Here it is. So now you can run it directly off of your desktop, which is very cool. But if you're gonna run it through Suyu, just double click on the game and it will load. But there you go guys, I hope this video was able to help you out. If you're interested in how to mod games on here, how to play mods like CTGP Deluxe, click the video on the screen and I'll see you over there. Make sure to smash that like button, it really helps me out. And I'll see you on the next one. Stay funky and happy modding.